Hey everybody, uh, I'm Dan Dusko. I've been working on this huge project with Warp Academy, making bass music presets. It's called Serum Dark Side Funk. Today, we're gonna show you how to turn this into this in one effortless step using one of Serum's new power features. But today, before we get into this, I actually wanna tell you about something that I'm really excited about. Back at Warp Academy, we actually worked on a free Serum course that's available. In this course, and I implore you to check it out, you're actually gonna learn a lot of our favorite power features that are inside of Serum. A lot of these things really separate Serum and show that it's the world's most powerful soft synth right now. In the course, there's gonna be a number of free downloads, free wavetables, free presets, free Ableton racks, free Ableton templates. So just click the link below and get more more info on our free Serum Power course. Okay, let's get into this tutorial now. One of the things that we find so incredibly powerful about Serum is the ability to create wavetables that have already heavily processed sounds. Most of the custom wavetables that we made just for Dark Side Funk were made from already heavily processed sounds. Then we took them even further by using Serum's resampling function. So as you can see, we have Serum open. This is one of the bases from Dark Side Funk. Check it out. So we're gonna go into our menu and we're gonna check out our different render and resample options. Now before we had resample to oscillator A and resample to oscillator B, and that would actually cause Serum to create a mono wave table. But with Serum's new resample to A plus B stereo function, oscillator A covers the left channel and oscillator B covers the right channel in your original preset stereo field. So this gives you a really cool effect. But before we do that, it's important to note that just like your standard resample to oscillator A or B function, Serum renders to one bar. So adjusting your LFO movements to one bar in length will give you a nice controlled movement in the resulting wavetables. In this particular preset, we can see that LFO4 controls most of the movements in this sound. Its rate is already set to one bar. However, if we go over to Macro 1, we can see that Macro 1 controls LFO4's rate. So we're going to turn that to 0% in order to ensure that it's one bar. Now we're going to resample the entire preset to stereo wavetables. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Way more intense. I have another instance of Serum open with the original preset so you can hear what it sounds like before. And after. Another way to get the most out of Serum's stereo resampling function is to resample your sound with a more complex modulation, typically by using an LFO movement that's going faster than one bar. This will allow you to get something that you would not have even conceived before. So we're going to go to the other instance of Serum, but this time before resampling, we're going to go to Macro 4, which at 100% actually gives a very unique movement to our sound. Let's resample that. Now let's listen to it. One of the coolest parts about resampling your preset inside of Serum is that all of your modulation and effects are resampled into the wavetable. So as you can see, Macro 4 is still all the way up to 100%. Let's hear what that sounds like. Sounds really good. Now let's put it to 0% and see what it sounds like. Since our modulation and effects are resampled into Serum's wavetables already, I find that going to the effects page and switching on or off or even changing the order of the effects is a good way to get your sounds crisp and clean as possible. I feel that this remix preset has a sound that would actually complement our original preset sound. And to finish this tutorial, we're going to review our pro tips. So in pro tip one, you were shown that you could resample to oscillator A and B in stereo. In pro tip two, you were shown that Serum resamples to one bar. In pro tip three, you were told that you can experiment with resampling more complex modulations. Pro tip four, you were shown that FX and modulation are resampled into your new wavetables. Don't forget to click on the link below so you can sign up for our free Serum Power Features course. See you in the next tutorial.